so let's clear that console and run it and have another look and watch the energy levels go down if we see an instant spike just there let's stop and go back up through our logs and here you can see the hit surface uh, printout so that particle did hit the surface and it got a massive energy boost now if it falls down and hits the surface again which hasn't happened in this case it'll keep getting 50 added to it and added to it and its energy will go up and up and up which is not what we want when its energy goes up we actually want to destroy the particle and attach a little splash particle system to that point to attach the uh, splashes to the particles when they collide with the surface we need to create some new code and I've already written it up here but I'll go through it first of all we need a transform that we will add uh, over in the inspector which links to our splash particle then in this update function we put a loop that goes through every particle that's in the particle emitter we then test each particle to see if it has a um, just received a large amount of energy and if it has we create a splash so we instantiate a version of this transform here at the particles position and then we set that actual particles energy to zero which will cause it to respawn so if we save that and go back into our particle system you'll see here where this script is run that you need to set what the splash object will be and I've created a prefab out of that little splash we had before and added that in here now let's run this and see what happens Okay, you get a very interesting effect of rolling snowballs and I'll stop it there because it gets exponentially large and you suddenly get a whole bunch of splashes and the um, explosions aren't stopping, they're creating more and more. So that's not what we want. So the issue we have now is that the particles come down and they hit the surface and create the explosion and we need to have the explosion become destroyed let's just have a look and as you can see here the particles are actually zipping down the side of the mountain uh, so they're eventually being destroyed but the particles themselves that have caused it haven't been destroyed and if we click on the particle system and just watch these particles like this one here you can see when they hit the ground they do get destroyed but they start sliding off into infinity so you can see all these little empty boxed particles that haven't really been respawned now the issue is that the scripting that we've written will set these particles to have energy of zero but won't actually get rid of them so let's just go back to our script okay so here we are here we've set the particles energy to zero and here we're creating the splash we then destroy the splash after 5.5 uh, of a second and that will remove that object from the game so that it doesn't continually exist but that's long enough for it to make a splash and then after we've updated all of these particles here we actually have to put them back into the particle emitter so their values are updated any of them that have zero will be automatically respawned so what we do is the opposite of this line like that let's save it and go back run ok 
Okay, now when it starts to snow, we will get the little splashes. The particles will be destroyed and respawned, and the explosions are as well. And if you have a look over at this list here, you can see all these splashes being created and being removed as they're destroyed. And this ensures we don't clog up the entire system. Okay, so that's the basics of a particle system being used for creating snow with splashes. To make this into rain, it's basically the same uh, procedure, except you change the little balls of snow into raindrops and the splashes as well.